Uh, let's go to Timco. Hey, Timco. I was wondering how to back up my laptop <coughs> to my main desktop. Everywhere I look, I hear R-Sync and Chrome. Uh, I like back in time you showed on your backup series. I'm hoping that there's something similar for my laptop to my main desktop. What's the word that you stumbled on? Uh, Chrome. C R O N. Oh, Cron. Cron. Okay. okay. Sorry. That's, R, that's R Sync is uh, synchronization between Unix uh, and Linux file systems. Cron is uh, like a scheduler. So Cron allows you to schedule tasks. It's like okay, your task scheduler uh, in Windows. Mm -hmm. So when you when you set something to automatically run at two o'clock in the morning, for example, that's task scheduler in Windows. Cron in uh, in Linux. Okay. Sorry, I just I was just like what what? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta I gotta catch these words so. Okay, um, and Tim Crow says, uh, I like back in time you showed on your backup series. I'm hoping that there's something similar for my laptop to my main desktop. With help from the Ubuntu form, I figured how to format and mount a hard drive to root as backup. When I tried back in time on my laptop to go to my backup drive on my main desktop, I couldn't find it. I even tried to cut and paste the directory in back in time and still not working. Basically, like back in time, I would like to back up my laptop to my main desktop like you would normally in a local machine, but my laptop over the network to my main desktop to my backup directory. Help. <laughs> yeah, help me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many words. So many I'm words. lost. Okay, that was Timco, right? Yes. Um, so you've got you've got two Ubuntu systems. One of them's a desktop. One of them's a laptop. On the desktop, you've installed a secondary hard drive. You've mounted it to slash backup, and I'm assuming you've made it writable. You've set the permissions. It's writable from the desktop. You've shared it through Samba, have you? This is where my script might come in handy. You need to create a user on that system if the user's not already in existence. You need to create a user, Timco and give that user uh, a Samba password, SMB pass WD space dash A space Timco is the command. You need to put a sudo before that so you run into a super user. Um, so that will then give Timco access to Samba. Then you would share that backup folder because you've mounted it at slash. You're going to have to do this either from a, a GK sudo Nautilus window if you don't know what that means, uh, don't worry about it really at this point. Um, but you can also use the terminal. The reason for that is because if you've mounted it at slash backup, it's outside of your home folder. So you don't have access, you don't have right and, and permissions to change, uh, like sharing and things like that on that folder. So y you might be better to, I, I mean, it depends on where you're at, right? But if you're going to have it in that full, mounted at that mount point slash backup, that means you're going to have to. Um, Either add it to uh, etc. slash samba slash smb.conf as a new uh, share, which is a little complicated compared to um, if you did move that mount point into your user folder or uh, if you were to use gk sudo space notilis. But I don't like to say that because that's a huge security risk. So you need to be very, very careful when you use that because you could completely wipe out your system. What that does is it loads Nautilus, I should say, uh, which is your My Computer. It loads it as super user. So that would then make it so that anything that you do anywhere in the system is permitted. So you can, you can delete things that normally you wouldn't be able to delete. You can share things that normally you wouldn't be able to share, which is your slash backup. So GK sudo, all one word, GKSUDO space Nautilus, N A U T L uh, 2, I'm not even going to try to spell it in my head. Nautilus. N a u t i l u s. That's the command to run your my computer kind of window. I'm using Windows terms just to make it really s simplistic. Uh, but then you need to share it. So right click on that folder, share it, okay? And then you should be able to access it. I'm not sure where you're at though. Let me know where you're at with regards to networking and stuff like that. To access a Windows file share or a Samba file share through the network, go to your laptop and go to smd colon slash and then the IP address, the computer name. I hope that that kind of... Let me know where you're at, okay? Because are you in the chat room by chance? Because now we're getting into, okay, networking stuff and how to do networking, and, and so I just need to know where things are at for you. Also, we could use FS tab to automatically mount that on your laptop every time you boot it up, things like that.
but I just don't want to take too much time not knowing where you are with regards to networking. So, mm -hmm. but hopefully that'll point you in the right direction. Okay, and if you can expand on it based on kind of where I'm going with this, uh, drop me another email live at category5.tv, and perhaps next week or on a on a very soon upcoming show, we'll we'll address your new questions as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for your email.